Monday we went to Krakow's Old Town, which is just a beautiful area of the city. It was just amazing going through the streets and knowing that other scenes had been through there as well, um, especially the three scenes that we were following. We were so blessed that Sister Gaudia, um, with her friend Shimon from the Knights of Columbus, organized that we could tour the Archbishop's residence. During his time in the seminary, he had to be underground because of everything going on in World War II. And so he was ordained in this chapel. He prayed in this chapel every day when he was bishop. He wrote all of these beautiful and incredible documents. He wrote in this chapel on his knees in front of the Blessed Sacrament. There was a beautiful relic of John Paul II in the chapel. At one point, where there was a room uh, filled with all these uh, great relics. It was probably, I think, more than like 80. So it was really cool to be in there. It was really nice to see. It was just very, very easy to pray there and be there and grow in holiness there all together, all of us who went on the pilgrimage. Another favorite part was going to, was it the library or the room where the seminarians got together and worked together? John Paul II would stand on the windowsill, which was pretty high up, um, and would look out the window and speak to the crowd, to the youth. I thought that was really neat. Our sister Matilda joined us for the day, so it was great to have her along. So it was incredible to just see those holy places where he prayed, where he, where he became the saint that he is today. Then we went right across the Franciscan church it was really neat to see the replica of the shroud and to see it so close. It gave such a great visual of how Jesus Christ looked. Along with the supplemental stations of the cross, which were absolutely beautiful. And then we made our way to, I think, Old Town, where we got to see like uh, some nice little views of We went down and joined uh, the Mass at noon at the Dominican Church, which is really great. We went to St. Mary's Basilica as well. They told us that the altarpiece, there was a huge altarpiece, and the Nazis took them that altarpiece away. They stole it, and we were able to get it back. But that just shows how they need to take beauty away in order to take God away from the people. In a way, beauty and God, they go together because God is beautiful. He is beauty itself. They have a little side adoration chapel that we were able to pray the chaplet in both English and Polish alternating at the hour of mercy. And it was just so easy to pray at the beautiful churches that we saw. Later in the afternoon we went to Wawel Cathedral and were able to tour that which was amazing. We also climbed the bell tower to get another great view of Krakow in the old town area. And we saw St. Leonard's Crypt, where JP2 celebrated his first Mass. I guess no one ever thought that I guess uh, JP2 as a kid would be like celebrating his first Mass in this area that has so much history, especially Polish history. I guess that beginning, like from him having his first Mass there, just goes to show that he had like a mission, but just not like a, any ordinary mission. He was going to be, he was going to do something great. We made our way down to like the riverside. It 
think we took a picture with the dragon. And then the fire comes out. <laughs> we found out. You could just see the beauty of Krakow and the holiness of the saints also mimic that. And I think that they really go together because of the beauty of the soul that reflects the beauty of the country as well. Yeah, another great day in Krakow.